So, hi. Hey, how's it going? So, so who are you? Uh, my name is Rex St. John, and I'm Senior Manager of IoT Ecosystem at ARM here in Seattle. So, um, and there's an event going on next week, right? There is a really big event the first week of December that we're planning called the ARM AIoT Dev Summit. We're going to have 500 of the world's top AI developers at the Computer History in Museum in Mountain View. And if you're interested, there's, registrations are still open at armsummit.bemyapp.com. Uh, so this is going to be about uh, developing for uh, all kinds of development boards, uh, AI, Arduino. We're going to have a huge portion of the key ARM ecosystem partners there. We're going to have Massimo Bonzi as a keynote, who's the CEO of Arduino or founder of Arduino. Uh, Chris Anderson is going to be a keynote, creator of the consumer drone industry, CEO of 3D Robotics. The CEO of ARM is going to be a keynote speaker. And we're going to have a very wide range of speakers from a lot of different uh, compelling AI companies. Data Science Africa, the founder of Data Science Africa, is coming to give a talk. Pete Warden from Google, Spark Fun, Adafruit, and many others. Because um, one of the trends with, uh, with the ARM Cortex-M kind of processors is yeah. they, they're getting AI stuff mm -hmm. in, into the microcontrollers also. Yeah, we've had a lot of ecosystem partners that have had success uh, putting TensorFlow Lite and doing AI on the ARM Cortex-M. There have been announcements on this topic from Adafruit, Spark Fun, Particle put one out. Uh, so a lot of people are doing that and it's working out. And uh, right here with the Tordex office. Yeah. Uh, for example, there's uh, one of these boards you can uh, grab one, one of these like guys, this. The so this this is more on the, on the Cortex A kind yeah. of side. Yeah. And there's lots of AI going on there. Oh there, yeah. And some hacking development and everything. Yep. NXP is going to be at our summit giving talks, I believe, and uh, we're very excited about uh, what NXP and uh, other silicon partners are doing with the technology. And what kind of other stuff is happening here in Seattle? Uh, there is a lot going on right now in the data center. Microsoft has announced that they're now carrying ThunderX ARM servers. Uh, Amazon has announced that they're doing uh, Amazon A1 instances, which is their own custom ARM silicon. So we're seeing a lot of traction in the data center and at the edge. NVIDIA did an amazing announcement yes. recently. There's Full CUDA mm -hmm. on, on ARM servers, right? There's a major announcement at the High Performance Computing Summit. NVIDIA just announced a uh, reference design based on ARM that allowed you to plug in uh, whatever ARM servers plus the NVIDIA uh, CUDA and I, I'm not an expert in that area but it got a lot of attention yeah and it's probably very relevant in, in the Seattle area there's Microsoft right here yep. right and they also did another thing with with the NVIDIA but I thought it might be some ARM but I'm not totally sure what it's running but they, they have supercomputing on Azure cloud oh yeah it, yep. it, it would be cool if it was one of these new ARM processors that was running there too, <laughs> but they didn't. I mean, it, that's not. It could be. Maybe. 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 And uh, there's there's some there's some other stuff also. Wasn't there like at the ARM TechCon announcement of kind oh, of yeah. a, an open mm -hmm. um, way of doing the ARM? ARM just announced something called custom instructions, and what this allows you to do is to combine your own custom processor instructions which is, allows you to do things like custom ML extensions, and then you can put that with existing ARM Cortex M33 processor, and you can do that uh, in the near future, if not now. All right, so there's lots of cool stuff happening, yep. and um, in, t in, in Seattle, ARM is pretty busy. Yes. Connecting with, their, with the, <clears throat> everything from big companies to startups. Yep, we do a lot of work with uh, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, all these guys at all sizes. There's the Paul Allen AI Institute. There's a number of startups there uh, focusing on putting AI on low-cost edge devices like ARM cores. Uh, and then we also have a big robotics lab here at the University of Washington. So there's a lot of that going on. So maybe some really interesting robots they do? Oh, yeah. Some, some uh, it could have some, some Tornix some brains. From, they probably do. <laughs> All right. Cool. So checking out the, the dates of the AI Summit. December 2nd and 3rd. And if you're interested, search armsummit.bemyapp.com or just put into Google Arm AIoT Dev Day.